this one is i guess it would be like a classic photography lesson here you know sure. so it has to do with exposure settings right so the apollo astronauts are shooting with a camera set for a bright daylight condition so the surface under the new uh, other than the new sun their white suits and the lunar module reflecting sunlight the moon's surface and the sunlight is extremely bright as we saw in that video we watched right so to capture it properly they had they had to adjust the shutter speed they had to go to a faster shutter speed and um use smaller apertures to let less light in right so meaning that a lot of the light um, meaning not much of the light sorry opposite can get in from faint sources meaning stars right so you weren't right. that extra extra light in to be seen on the camera so um mean relatively dim points of light simply didn't register on the film because the camera exposure was too short to detect them which is which makes sense so it's kind of like you know stepping out on the porch at night and turning on bright light your eyes in this case the camera is going to adjust to the light and you won't see the stars behind it you see that constantly right it take, takes a while you have to be that's why we have issues in a lot of these you know um urban areas right seeing the oh, stars yeah. because you have all that light, light pollution. pollution you just can't adjust to it but you go somewhere that doesn't it, the milky way is lit up like a freaking christmas tree so the astronauts did say they couldn't even see the stars you know with their eyes while the while the they were facing the sunlight you know because of the glare from the landscape and their visors you know it overwhelmed their uh their vision so if they weren't a shadow and they let their eyes adjust or during the flight in darkness those stars would be visible to them at that point but of course not in the photos <laughs> <laughs> oh why would it right 